installation of flask in VS Code. Here app.py file is created and then write print hello world and run this code. Hello world is printing or not. Here we are getting output is hello world. Then to create virtual environment type py-3-m -hyphen -hyphen venv env command in terminal window. Type py space hyphen 3 space hyphen m space venv space env command in terminal window to create virtual environment. Then click enter. You will get one pop-up saying that we noticed a new virtual environment has been created. Do you want to select it for the workspace folder? You have to click on S. Then you can see here some changes happen. .vs code and env file is created. You can see changes in status bar. It changed from python 3.9.464 bit to python 3.9.464 bit env because here we have created virtual environment. Then the next question comes why we need this virtual environment. This virtual environment is used to manage python projects. Let's consider if you are working project with two different versions of flask. In this case you can use this virtual environment to both projects individually without any problems. You created virtual environment. Now you need to activate this virtual environment. To activate virtual environment type env slash script slash activate command in terminal window. After giving this command you can see changes in path. Give command in terminal window env slash script slash activate. Then press enter. So here you can see that virtual environment is activated and env is added as suffix to the older path. While activating virtual environment you will get sometimes error saying that fully qualified error. To remove this error just give set hyphen execution policy space unrestricted space hyphen force this command in powershell. For more information you can use these links. These two links we already provided in description box. Now it's time to install flask. We'll see what is the command to install flask. Here is the command python space hyphen c that task is installed successfully. If you are using older version of pip, it will ask you to update the pip version. To upgrade pip version, you need to write python space hyphen m space pip space install space hyphen u pip command in terminal window. Then you can see successfully install pip 21.1. Give command to upgrade pip. Here you can see that new version of pip is successfully installed. Now we'll write program to check whether flask is installed or not. Just delete this. Write from flask import flask. This is the flask class importing from flask module. Then we'll write app is equal to flask underscore underscore name underscore. An object of flask class is our WSGI application. The current module's name underscore underscore name underscore underscore is passed as an argument to the flask constructor. Then we'll write at app dot root slash. Here root function is a decorator that tells the application which URL should be used to call associated function. Then we'll create a function with name home. In function we'll return hello flask. The hello flask is bound to the slash URL when it is called when the web server's home page is loaded in python hyphen m flask run. Copy this URL and give in your browser. Here it is printing hello. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to support us.